episode began, I was in the final of the Gold Cup. We had gone through so many different shitty teams. We had the money, the pace, and the overpowered players, but we didn't have the fitness, so I whacked this on. We needed the fitness, so we searched out to find our opponent to destroy him. We was going to destroy our opponent, but once we had found a game, Right, so we're still waiting. This is just great. Hopefully the music is to your acquired taste. Because I sound like a retard without it. When I'm doing this voice. Finally, we'd found someone. But he had lost his A button. He didn't know where it was. So we waited another few fucking minutes. Why do people not know where the fucking A button is? We had come into the game. We had Coney! Oh shit, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. I'm sorry. But we had Coney. Yeah, the one who looks like he's bang getting banged up the ass. Oh, Jesus. This team looks like the sort of team we've been smashing. So the game started. It was episode 7 of my journey to a full informed BPL team we were in the final of the Gold Cup I think this was the second time we were gonna win it but unfortunately he had scored a disgusting goal with the smallest man on the pitch and probably one of the fastest but most smallest of all fuckers in the world we may have been one nil down but Darren Bend had to say something about this by setting up a counter attack Darren Bent was unleashed the Bent man who loves all men had been unleashed to score that goal and transfer this team into the overpowered monsters we were one all could it get any better than this we had sneaked a goal back in the 20th minute but no they just took the ball off of us but we had counter attacked on that and the ball was going back and forth, back and forth, but we intercepted it. And they kept getting it back. The ball would not leave their feet. But then, Tarat lost the ball after a nice tackle there. Kone, he knew where he wanted that ball. He was running into space. He had blasted the ball. And oh, go! Motherfucking go! Get in there. 2 1 up. Most overpowered shot ever. Straight past the goalkeeper. So straight from a goal kick, nearly half time, they had started their attack. My defence was being stupid, but somehow they had Palacios done a Ronaldo chop, had a nice outside of the foot shot. He had put it back in, I thought he was going to shoot, and overpowered David Luiz had been beaten in the air by Edin Cavani. Could life get any worse? It was 2 1. It was flipping annoying. The game was annoying. But then, no, it couldn't get any worse, could it? They had scored a near sweaty goal. With another Eden Cavani. Life was not what it seemed. Life was a pile of shit. They had scored a sweaty goal with Eden Cavani. Could this get any worse? But no, it had been a penalty in the 90th minute. Nice big dive from Mr. Embia there. I could not believe it. He had done a 90 minute dive in a box, but Tarat, he knew where he wanted this. Pow! 90 minutes. Suck my dick, bitch. We're going to extra time. Because I just raped your mama. He gave me a penalty in the 90th minute. He went, there you go, Eichhausen. Take this goal and make me proud. And he gave me it. And he just paused the game and sat there and just kept pausing it and pausing it. So the first half of extra time, didn't nothing actually happened, but it was pretty much an even game. But in the end, it came down to penalties. The most hated of all things in the FIFA community. 
apart from God damn it, I can't think of anyone. God damn it. He had scored his first goal. And then Kenwin Jones, big old Kenwin, kapowed it in the back of the net. That's a booyah from A9 Skills. Yes. Giovinco, I was going left, right. I was doing the Joe Hart, sticking my tongue out, licking the face of God. But unfortunately, he had scored. Slow motion. If he scored this, which he did. I had to score my next goal to stay in it. If I missed, I would lose. Mascheretti was in goal. Pablo Hernandez stood up to Mascheretti. It was in slow motion. Was he going to score this goal? Nobody knew. So I stuck it down the left and the Mascheretti had saved it! Oh my god, I couldn't believe it. I'd been kicked out of the Gold Cup. I was in the final and I had lost in the Gold Cup. Could life get any worse than this? No, it couldn't. My breathing had increased. My heart was beating. But then Pablo Hernandez fucked the shot up. It was a tense moment for the team. We had just lost the final of the Gold Cup. We nearly have won it before. But we needed to buy and improve our left wing. Because Oxide chamberlain just wasn't cutting it out. So we went out searching for ourselves as Stephen Pienaar. We bought him for 15,000 coins to try and improve that left wing. He may not be the paciest of guys, but he has got other attributes that really did interest me. So guys, it's coming to the end of the video. If you did enjoy this, please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment. My Facebook page and Twitter will be linked in the description. So if you want to go follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook, my fan fanbook page, that would be greatly appreciated. And I hope you have... A very nice day. And this is goodbye from AA9 Skills. AA9 Skills. Do I sound like him? Nah, I don't. Goodbye. Booyah.